Morning guys, it's uh, September 23rd, nice and early. Wanna check out those two bait piles I got going. I got some more birds to pick up, just see what I need where. Maybe I can start another pile. Oh, barbed wire there. Sorry about the shadow, there's no help in it. Well, they are definitely in here, as you can see. Oh, it's good, I like that. I've got all my uh, oil from the uh, the fryers at the rinks. I got like, I'm not sure, 10 or 12 three gallon jugs. I'm gonna start pouring those in these bait piles too because even when the bait's gone, they still smell that fryer oil and they'll come. So I don't see anything in there. That's kind of weird. They're coming all through here though. I see feathers back there a long way. Okay, well, that's good. Bait pile number one is definitely hit. We'll stop by that Lindsay one and see anything going on out there. Well, I kind of have to think so. I was at Pete's uploading that video on Monday. And uh, Caillou's howling all over and yipping, yapping. So I'm pretty sure there won't be any birds left there. I'll probably just throw all the cranes you got from today into there. Isn't that something? Yeah, they're pulling it right out. Oh, there's some over there. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Right there, yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Pretty windy outside, so I'm gonna sit in the truck and do this, but that's three pretty big bulls there. I noticed the, uh, most of the herd, we'll see if we can get in on them here, is up on the hill over there. I'm not sure, I don't think they're separated by a fence here, but those are some big bulls. Those are well over 2,000 pounds each. This guy right here kind of was facing away, but as soon as I stopped, he bounced around in a hurry. Figures I'm just taking pictures, so yeah, most of them are up there though. Oh well, on my way to Foam Lake. And I can't see anything in here. We're at the Lindsay pile here. We're gonna walk in and have a look before we throw those cranes in. On my way back from Foam Lake here, I saw three coyotes. I tried to film one, but he was a runner, like they all were. I saw two of them in like a quarter mile, so let's just see if anybody touched these birds yet. I'd have to think they would have. And they are all gone. We are going to catch some dogs in here. Just feathers, that's all I see. Okay, I'm gonna grab those cranes and throw them in here. I'm gonna have to dump a, a jug of oil too in here, deep briar oil. I'm gonna do a little scouting in while I'm here and see which way they're coming from. It looks like they come through there. That's what I like about the birds is you can follow the feathers, right? So, not a duck left, all 14 of them gone. Okay, I'll get back to you in a minute. All right, there's those cranes. They are a very big bird. The guy that uh, hunts them tells me they got the best breast meat out of any bird. I don't know, I've never tried them. Well, there's four of them there, and those four were heavier than the 14 ducks I brought in by far. So, let's do a little backtracking here. Okay, lots of feathers here. Is that down and eight here? Oh yeah. Feathers going that way, feathers going that way. So tight right now. We're gonna leave it. And those trails will be right layered with feathers when uh, when I come out in a few weeks to put some steel down. 
I'm thinking my first trap check this year will be on the 21st of October, so that ain't written in stone either, but see what happens, right? Okay, I'm going to get home and keep things, uh, keep getting things ready for season. Talk to you later. Well, Saturday morning, back at Lindsay's Bush. I uh, got some more birds. I grabbed some meat out of the deep freeze. I didn't know how many birds he'd have today. I got a uh, jug of that special uh, deep fryer fat I'm going to pour in there today. The other bait pile was tore right apart. There's still a couple birds in there, but I think they're caught on the barbed wire that's in there. So we'll see what's in here. I doubt there's any birds left here. There is a poop load of coyotes in this area, so I'm thinking I'll throw all that bait here. Yep, it's all gone. Well, that's a good thing. Lots of feathers going that way. They are making a, a very distinct highway for me, so very good. I'm going to uh, go get the juice and start pouring some of that in here. Maybe all of it, I'll soak those dead trees with it too. That way it'll just keep smelling like that all season long. All right, we gave her a good soaking. Those cranes, I got one in the tree there to make them work for that one. He's not tied or anything. All right, got our live tonight. Oh. She's warm today. It's like uh, I it was 25 when I left the house. So looks like the next week is all in the 20s and Wednesday's supposed to be over 30. So and that's hot. They say October is going to be a real like almost summer like weather. So might make trapping a little difficult, but if it's too warm, I won't be able to trap, but Cause those dogs are stinky enough without letting them sit out in the heat for a while after they get caught. Go for a walk in here, see what we can see. Like I said, there's a lot of trees that are knocked down here. Look at this. Whew. I would hazard a guess that they're uh, coming over here and eating birds. Yes, sir. Going this way with them. Here's one laying here. Oh no, that's a cow head. Oh my. Yeah, yeah, going through there. That's good, we caught quite a few there last time we trapped. Definitely going this way. What I mean about those feathers? Wow, that ever a nice looking place for a set now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have some nice luck in Lindsay's bush this winter. Monty really thinks this is one of my best bushes, so. You guys probably remember this. This is where the coyotes were always going to the right, and I was standing there looking for my ram, and they were always over here somewhere. Oh, boy, nice trails through here. Should be a pretty darn good year. I'm hoping anyway. Not sitting on my butt getting fat last winter didn't help me at all. Get out here and drop some weight and put some dogs up. I'll go back a different way. I'm not seeing any feathers over here. I got some bait left in the truck too. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't have a lot of bait kicking around right now. Sorry if that was a bumpy ride, guys. Maybe I won't even show it. 
walking around forgetting I got a camera in my hand. All right. Well, I just left Lindsay's and sitting here at this big beaver pond. It looks like he's been up on his house, so let's see if I can come down now. But as you see, I think that water's even lower than it was last time we were here. Huh. He'd be uh, 20 to 25 years old, so he survived this before. I'm just looking, it sure is a long way from her drag trees back. I guess not behind the truck, there's some. Yeah, I'm not seeing them. I've been sitting here for a bit already, so. There's about 300 Canada's took off from this little dump of water right in front of us when I pulled in here, but. I'm not seeing anything that uh, makes me think that. Other than that, that, uh feed pile is bigger than it was when we were here but it could just be that the water came down and exposed more of it too I'm not sure beautiful day though Well, another uh, barrel of ducks. Got some of my joy juice here. Gonna check on the two bait piles and start another one at Sawyer's, I guess. Oh boy, those birds are rank. A little smelly. That's good though. Well, they are in here. There's not a major amount of carnage. I think I'm only going to throw a couple more birds in there. Seems like they don't like the cranes. The ducks are gone. Might be foxes in here. Although if there are fox in here, they'd empty it out and hide them in other places. They, uh, they wouldn't leave it all here. Okay, well, I'm going to put a little joy juice in here and a couple birds, so and then we'll get out to uh, Sawyer's, I guess. Well, guys, I got another bait pile set up here at Sawyer's Cross. Had to carry stuff in, so I never took the camera, but it's in there. We'll get a look at it, I'm pretty sure, before the year's over. Oh, brand new bait pile. I put... Uh, Half a jug of that uh, deep briar oil down. Got a nice little triangle of trees in there, so they're gonna have to pick their way in. And uh, drop some birds in there after. That's a fair walk in the bush, so hopefully that is a gold mine this winter. I know it's uh, right now it's Wednesday the 29th. I've got two days till I get my trapping license, so. Just trying to keep busy and keep my mind off it. I just talked to a uh, landowner when I was coming down. Believe it or not, there's a road on that side of the bush. He's out looking for moose. And I asked him if I could trap his land this winter, and he said absolutely. So there's a lot more land there. I'm uh, the only trapper in Emerald here, so that's 400 square miles, and I'm the only guy, so... It's not that hard to get permission. I mean, there are some people that, I don't know, they seem to think that them cutting all the trees down is a good thing, but somebody trapping is a bad thing. Well, I'm just between uh, Sawyer's and Lindsay's right now. I wanted to show you this. This is our country out here now. This used to be a great big beaver lake and it goes a long way that way and there's not a cup of water in there even. And I've driv driven by lots of them the same. Doc talked to that landowner earlier, he said there's just no water for the wildlife to drink or anything. 
I told them they should stop killing all the beavers and bountying them, but they hate beavers out here. I, there's nothing I can say to, you know, I, I don't understand it. Those beavers keep the water table up and everything. Oh, well, we'll get over to uh, Sawyer's, or I mean, uh, Lindsay's. Back to Lindsay pile. I'm gonna say it's getting easier to see trails through here. That's not a crazy big surprise, but we'll fill it up again. Yeah, I see trails going through there even. One through there, a couple there. Yeah, they're all over. Well, I got some more birds. We'll throw them in and getting hungry. Get home and eat some dinner. All right, that should hold us for a few days here. It's not getting any cooler out, so. Sowing a seed in the back of their mind that there's food here, though. So when I do put some traps out, I'm sure they'll be looking for food over here. That's got to be 20 degrees out. That's way too warm to trap. Stinky birds. Whew. All right, guys. I'm going to get home. Well, here I am going blind again. I can't really see what I'm filming, but I uh, had the mower on this morning. By the way, it's the last day of September. And I mowed all the weeds and the corn patch down. And I took everything out except the tomatoes. We got two more weeks over 20 degrees every day, so they say. So there's tomatoes on them. They're awful small, but I'm two weeks, you know what can happen to tomatoes, so. Just walking out to get my uh, little side-by-side. -side. I had to pull my garden tractor out once. It got stuck on the end. And then I got stuck again right in the same spot next time I tried to go through it again. Sure hope you guys can hear from all this wind, but... Tomorrow I get my trapping license, and it begins. I've already got three baits out. I want to get a dozen out, but something tells me I'd settle for ten. So we'll see what's happening. I know I got at least a dozen good spots so that I could put them, so I'm not going to be hurting for spots. But anyhow, that trapping license is going to be like a brand new season for me. So, I think we'll start our next video up on uh, on the 1st, and we'll end this one here. i got to go to Pete's tonight anyway, take him some onions, and Saturday, that's live that never came off. I don't have a clue why we couldn't get our live going. Uh, Peter made bucket pickles for me, and I just, we had a few beers. Pete hadn't drank all the time when harvesting was on, so about three months. And uh, he got pretty pickled. It was funny watching him walk to the house. It just like a big semicircle to the left he went. So, but anyhow, you guys, I'm gonna call it a, a work day. You guys keep moving forward.